What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, super excited to be bringing you guys a Reuniclus Trick Room Team for Regulation F. Now, Reuniclus, I don't really know what it is. It just looks like a big green blob to me. It's a really cool Pokemon, though. It's straight Psychic from Generation 5, and it doesn't get that much love in on the rank ladder, considering it is such a good special attacker. It has access to the ability Magic Guard, which we're rocking out today and pairing that up with the Life Orb. If you do not know what Magic Guard does, but we will only take damage from attacking moves with this ability. So if we pair this up with the Life Orb, we will take no damage from the Life Orb, but at the same time still getting all the damage boost from the Life Orb. Reuniclus is an expanding force user. It's Stab, gotta rock with it, so we're pairing it up with Ndidi today, and it has another three moves of Shadow Ball, Focus Blast, and Trick Room to set up that Trick Room. Like I already mentioned, it is a Trick Room team, so we're definitely gonna need Trick Room out and about. We got Ndidi for support and for Trick Room setting, and then we got Torkoal, King Gambit, and Iron Hands for other three Pokemon that are really gonna thrive out in the Trick Room when that is set up. Our final Pokemon on today's team is going to be the lovely Fluttermane. Fluttermane so solid on ranked battles, we're rocking the choice specs on this one with Shadow Ball, Moonblast, Dazzling Gleam, and Parasong. If we ever get into a pinch where Parasong might work out, we might use it. If not, I won't use it. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see, right? If you guys want to rent the scene for yourself, the rental code is at the top right hand corner. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to grab some wins with the Reuniclus. So guys, we're loading into our first match. We're sitting at 15 and 6. I actually disconnected our first match, giving us another loss on our record, which is kind of tough. We only played turn one. I just didn't show up, but we're going up against 126. A person who's 126 on the ladder. That's absolutely insane. But uh, before we get started here with this match, I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator. It goes by the name of Bruno. Thank you so much for making this team and making it a rental code. I will be linking his channel down in the description below alongside with the Pokey base. But 126, this could be a big win for us. This could definitely be a big win for us. But honestly, we could set up Trick Room and we could set up Reuniclus and Indeedy. I don't think I mind that too much. I mean, they could go into um, Ferrigraph, which would honestly be a problem. And they could just imprison. Yeah. And that's something I really don't like. So maybe we try to pull off Trick Room in the late game, right? So maybe we go like Iron Hands and Fluttermane here just for a little bit of attacking. And then on top of that, we bring Reuniclus and Indeed. Right? Nice late game. We can probably pop Trick Room. We can really get after it that way. That's something I really, really like. Because I do believe them looking at this team, they're like, hey, he's popping Trick Room. Let me go into Frigraph. So by going into these Pokemon right here, I think we should be fine, right? I think we should be fine. So we're going to try to get after this. This Pokemon is one, or not Pokemon, this person is 126 on the Master Tier. So this could be a tough one for us. This could definitely be a tough one for us. But I would love the Pop Trick and I would love to get after it and just absolutely dominate in today's video. Well, let's see. Let's see who they lead. But something I forgot to mention during the team preview is if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, like 50% of my viewers are not, make sure you scroll down a little bit and do yourselves a favor and click that subscribe button. We also have membership link and donation link down in the description below. So if you guys want to support me a little bit extra, it does go a long way. Huge shout out to all my members. You guys are the real ones. But um, they do end up leading for graph, like we said. So we can't go for fake out. Um, they do have uh Surgeon Strikes boy right here as well. And I'm kind of curious to see what your speed is for them. I'm really curious. 191. So you should outspeed Surgeon Strikes boy, right? But if it's Sweet Scarf, then we have a little bit of a problem on our hands, right? Then we're sitting here with a little bit of a problem. But I think from here, we just rip... Oh, this is the dark one. This is the dark one. So honestly, I'm just going to go Drain Punch here, and I'm just going to go Dazzling Gleam. He could Sucker Punch me. He's just going to detect here, which is totally fine. So he detects, and let's see what Frigraph ends up doing. So we're going to Dazzling Gleam, and we're going to put a little bit of punchies on it, right? And put a little bit of punchies on it. So not bad damage with that. Psychic Noise comes out here. And that's a new move. And I think that doesn't allow us to heal, right? Yeah, prevents us from healing. So I get no HP back from Drain Punch. I can't use Drain Punch. Hold up. I can't use Drain Punch. You're lying. You're, you're lying. You're lying. You're lying. Healing prevented for two turns. The Pokemon is unable to recover HP through moves, ability, or held items. That makes no sense. I should still be able to hit the Pokemon, just not get the HP back. This is my first time actually going up against this new move. That is stupid. That is stupid. I'll tell you that much. I'll tell you that much. I, that is ridiculous. 
That is ridiculous. But from here, we're going to rip a wild charge now. I guess we'll stick with the Dazzle Gleam, but that is just absurd. Dazzle Gleam's going to stay here. I'm guessing I think Sashed. It is Sashed. And he is just going to rip up and take out my Fluttermane, correct? Fluttermane's a dead man. Rigograph buries up. Hopefully, Wild Charge can still KO. That is ridiculous that my move wasn't able to do that. Wicked Blow comes through here. We say bye. Ooh. Fluttermane survives, which is cool. And now Fluttermane's dead. So, Fluttermane dies out here. Um, I really want to pop a Trick Room, so I really want to KO this Pokemon. Wild Charge comes out here, and it does not KO. Which is a little hurtful. Which is definitely a little hurtful. That is terrible. Okay, so from here, I really have to try to start Papa Trick Room. I can cancel out... I can cancel out a few moves with this. Um, I could try to pop a Trick Room as well. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into Indeedy here. I'm going to Terrastalize it as well. Just so it doesn't take that much damage. And I think I'm just going to get rid of the free graph, right? We just don't want to deal with the free graph. That is absurd. Because that free graph should be a goner. Free graph should be a goner. So from here, I am just going to stick with the wild charge. And I'm just going to get rid of free graph. Because I'm not worried about that Urshifu too much. And I'm going to terrestrialize just so Wicked Blow doesn't do crazy damage. And I'm going to trick him up. That's going to be my plan. We're going to hope free graph doesn't go for a, a imprison here. Because that could really do me dirty that could really do me dirty but the problem here is now that for graph still being alive like that for graph should be dead i can't believe that that move works like i knew it prevented it from healing but i didn't think it would stop moves from actually happening like drain punch it just doesn't make sense to me like i i get if i was using life do yeah it's like that's how the move works but drain punch i should still be able to do the damage just not get the hp back right Hopefully that makes sense. You guys let me know what you guys think of that in the comment section down below. But I end up terrestrializing, trying to dodge this Wicked Blow from coming in here. Um, not dodge it, well, neglect some of the damage coming in here. And he ends up just popping a close combat. And I end up surviving, which is pretty massive. So the close combat's here. Special defense dropping. And he ends up going for a second noise. So no healing moves allowed for me. That's totally fine. Both my Pokemon actually survive. It's actually not a bad term for us because I go for Wild Charge. And I end up popping this lovely Trick Room. Go ahead, Trick Room. Come out here. Lovely little Trick Room. I am going to die to Recoil. Oh, no. I didn't die to Recoil. Beautiful. Then I get off Trick Room. So, we play the lead right. We read him going into... What's it called? We read him going into... uh, What's that Pokemon name? Brigraph. And now we get after it this way. We have Psychic Train, so they can't use first turn priority. They do end up going into Blood Moon Ursula. Who can go into a Ghost type if you wanted to. Or a Normal type. There's a lot of different options. I think we're going to read him going into a Ghost type. Why does this have no effect? Oh, he's ground. We're going to Drain Punch. Maybe we could try. We can try. I think he is going to Terrasalize into Ground type, which is kind of annoying. We're not ground type, uh, ghost type. But I do have some great Pokemon in the back end. So, you know, we're going to go for this Drain Punch here. And I'm just going to dash and gleam across the board. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. So he's probably going to Terrasalize here. Get that Blood Moon Ursula to cook him. We still have Reuniclus in the back end, who is super slow. He ends up just straight up protecting him, which isn't bad for us. He's wasting out some Trick Room turns. And he ends up just doubling down like this. So now from here, Drain Punch is going to fly. I think he just wants to read out what we're going to do. And I, I think I have to make a read on him to Rasalize, right? But the thing is, does he have the Ghost Terror type? That's the real question. Does he have the Ghost Terror type? It's most likely that he does. Um, it's most likely that he does have it, but I'm still just going to get ripping after it. We have three turns left in Trick Room, which is plenty of turns. And we'll just go a nice little dash of Gleam here. He might swap... A Pokemon here. He might swap, to be honest with you guys. A swap might happen, and there's a swap of you. So he ends up swapping you, and who are you going to go into? Who's your final Pokemon? You're going to go into Ogre Pond here. So Ogre Pond comes out here, breaks the mold, 
And he ends up just outspeeding me, which is kind of whack. He ends up outspeeding me. Definitely kind of whack. That's a gleam's gonna fly. It's gonna chunk up a little bit of damage. But I still have Reuniclus in the back end. That's a slow little Pokemon right there. Now I get to go into Reuniclus. Great Pokemon with Expanded Force. We have two turns left in Shrimp. Two beautiful turns left in Shrimp. So from here, I get to pop this Expanding Force, no problem. So I'm going to Expanding Force up. I'm going to sit here. I'm just going to rip Dazzle Gleam. Or do I Helping Hand the shot? Might as well Helping Hand it, right? Yeah, we might as well Helping Hand it. Get that damage boost instead of going for Dazzle Gleam. I like it a lot. Ogre Pond's scaring me. I think we could do a lot of damage here. But the only way we win this one is if I pick up a double KO here, right? This is a solid match here. So I get the Helping Hand off. We love it. Protect comes out from the bear. Ogre Pond, how much damage are we doing to you? Or are you double and protect? You're just double and protecting. Okay, so the waste not tricking pretty well. Really well. And I think I just do the same thing. I have to do the same thing. I mean, you could swap. You could swap an Urshfu here, which is a good idea. But I think from here, if you do swap an Urshfu, we just want to dazzle and gleam now, right? So we have one turn left in Trick Room. There is a possibility to swap into that Dark Urshifu, thinking we're going for the same thing. But at this point, we're going to hammer into Dazzle and Gleam and switch up our moveset. Now, this is such a good matchup. This is such a good matchup. Really good matchup. I think they might swap into, into the into the Urshifu here. With that Dark Typing, right? That lovely little Dark Typing. Let's see. Great matchup from our opponent. I love a good matchup like this. I love a good matchup. This is our opponent who's 126. We're having such a good matchup. And we read the hard swap, which is great. Which is lovely on our end. And we end up going into this expanded force. So can we take out... You land a double protect... Get on out my face with that. Please. Please get on out my face with that. You land a double protect. You should be taking big time damage here. That's absurd. We're playing so good. We're playing so good. We end up going for Dazzle Gleam to finish off this Urshifu. We make the big time read on that. But that is absurd. We're playing so good. And I feel like we're kind of getting a little screwed over here, right? They land a double protect. That psychic noise is stupid. That's the other thing. But hey, that's part of the game. But they, they shouldn't have landed double protect there. You should be taking damage there. So now the play could be follow me Trick Room. I could follow me Trick Room again. Just annoying though, because I know exactly what they're going to do. Now we have a big time problem on our hands. Now we have a big time problem on our hands because chances are they go into a Blood Moon and a. Uh, I'm still going to try to pop trick him, but chances are they go into a Blood Moon and an Ivy Cudgel. But I'm just going to go follow me here. Maybe I should have popped an Expanding Force, but still, we, we, we can't do double. We can't. We, have, we don't have the terrain anymore. We don't have the terrain anymore. And I'm really curious to see how much damage that expanding force would have done onto that Ursa Luna. Like I said, they're going to put the magic on. They kind of locked up this match now. But just say, let's just say that Pokemon took damage to expanding force there or didn't land a double protect. I think it dies there, right? Ursa Luna should be dead and this turns into a 2v1 kind of situation, right? Yeah, this would have turned into a 2v1. And I think we would have won this match. So kind of annoying that RNG got the best of me. Ivy Cudgel comes out here. Yeah, I kind of seen this coming. That's going to take out Ndidi. And then Reuniclus is just going to die out to a big time Blood Moon. I mean, maybe it survives it, but still on top of that, we just get off Trick Room. And, and we, don't have, we don't have the facility to do enough, enough damage to KO Birth now. Blood Moon comes out here. Yeah, this thing just rips. It just rips. It does too much damage. We survive on five, but at this point, it's a bit too late. It's way too late. Wow, dude, we should have won this match. This match should have been ours. This match should have been ours. Uh, from here, I mean, I kind of just want to see how much damage this expanded force is going to do. Even though you're going to protect here, Ursula, I'm still just going to give it a run for my money, right? Maybe, maybe spiky shields, but let, let's see. Let's see how much damage this would have done without terrain. Oh my god, yeah, we would have won this, no problem. He doesn't land that double protect, we win this matchup, no problem. Wow, man, that hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. But GG's to our opponent, solid fault battle. 
Second match coming at you guys looking for our first win. That last match was such a solid video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy that battle. Came down to the wire and we lost to a little bit of RNG. I definitely wish we could have seen how the battle would have turned out if they didn't land that double attack. But it is what it is. We're going up against a Shen Pao and Dragonite team with Incineroar. So great little combo there. And then they also have Incineroar with Fluttermane, Amoongus, and Landorus. Landorus is top tier in the meta right now. It has been going off. But Pokemon that I think are going to be a solid lead for us is going to be a Trick Room setter like Indeedee or even Reuniclus, right? I could go follow me Trick Room and then I could start getting after it. Dark types are a little bit of an issue, but I kind of like the, these two leads because of uh, what's it called. Because we dodge fake out and intimidate doesn't really affect us. So that's something I really like. I like Torkoal in the back end here considering they don't have any type of weather control. And last but not least, we could go King Gambit or Iron Hands. And I'm kind of leaning towards King Gambit just for the sheer fact of first turn priority late in the game. But Iron Hands is also really solid. All your hands is also really solid. Huh. What's the play call here? I'm, like, I'm liking King Gambit. I am definitely liking King Gambit. So I'm going to actually lock that in. I'm locking it in. Love it. So, 0-1, looking for our first win in today's video. Reuniclus, I know Shen Pao and Incineroar are two dark type Pokemon that could dodge the uh, the Psychic Expanded Force, but we do have Focus Blast, really solid move. You do some big time damage onto this Pokemon. So, that's something I like. They end up going Incineroar and Lando, and I think from here, do we... Hmm, what do we do here? Do we just pop Terra for Ndidi? No, we just follow me, right? If you want to use knockoff and just KO my ED, that's totally fine, right? That's not bad. As long as we get off Trick Room, follow me, get off the Trick Room, and kind of go from there. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. So that's exactly what I'm really going to do here, turn one. I got the Psychic Seeds to help us out a little bit. Follow me, going to come out here. Plus, Lando's move should come out here first. And then we just pop the Trick Room. Pretty simple stuff, right? Pretty simple stuff. Pretty simple stuff. So we're not going to waste Terror on Indeedy. We'd rather just sacrifice it. And get off the trick and then bring out our big time trick. Ends up going for a sans here storm, which does some big time damage on arena plus. Not gonna lie, there's a knockoff. We know it's KO and indeed get it on that. So he picks up some big time damage and he gets a crit. So maybe maybe it wasn't KO and Indeedy. I think it was regardless. I don't think the crit mattered. But from here, we get off the trick room. So now trick room out and about. It's beautiful, it looks gorgeous. And now we can go into the lovely Torkoal here. Who can erupt for free? I could Terra and erupt it if I want to. And I I kind of want to, right? I kind of want to. It seems it seems nice. Just a Terra erupt. Right? What other Pokemon? What Pokemon could you swap into here to kind of neutralize that damage? Dragonite, maybe? Potentially? I, I don't mind it. I think Terra eruption is just a, a fair play for us to make. And then on top of that, rip this 70 accuracy focus blast and hope that it hits here. I got faith in my reading quest. Let's do it. My RNG hasn't been good today, but I'm all about it. I'm all about it. I'm all about it, baby. I'm all about the RNG. RNG screwed me over last match, but I feel like I feel like it's it's due right now, right? This focus blast should land. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. But we terrestrialize Torkoal. We want the fire damage boost. Lando ends up doing a big time protect. And as long as we land this focus blast, we're fine. As long as we land this focus blast, we're fine. RNG, don't do me dirty again. Eruption flying. Bopping up on the Incineroar, doing big time damage. As long as we land the Focus Blast, and like I said, I got faith in my boy Rima because he's dropping that Incineroar. Get it on out of here. So now I'm free to Expanding Force and Erupt. Pretty much the rest of the match, right? <clears throat> you have no terrain control, Pokemon. Huge. You're gonna go into Shen Pao, which I might Focus Blast again. Probably not, to be honest with you. I think we just erupt and we go into a Shadow Ball because that thing is probably Focus Ash. Yes. Yes, you could protect, but I think we KO the Lando with the Eruption. With the Fire Terror Eruption. I think Lando do drops out. The reason we want to double down to Shen Pao is because it's probably Sash of the Focus. He ends up protecting it anyway. I'm not too worried on that because, again, Lando's dead here, right? Lando's a goner. Lando's a goner. He better be a goner. If not, this game's broken. I got charcoal. I got the sun boost. I'm full HP. Get it on out my face. We end up dropping that. We're sticking with double down to Shen Pao. Then we're getting after it. So, Reuniclus, 
trying to hit through that protect, not really working too well. Okay. So I think we have two turns left in Trick Room, which would be... Mwah, it would be more than perfect if we had two turns left in Trick Room. Right? Let me see. Let me see how many turns we have left in Trick Room. Oh yeah, two. And we got two in the terrain too, which is more than perfect. So from here, guess what guys? Can you guys guess what we're doing? We're erupting again. And we're just gonna double down with Shadow Ball, because again, Chen Pal's probably sashed. So let's see what our opponent does. We set up a nice lo lovely trick room and Renuclus just getting after it. Same thing with Torkoal. Loving it. I'm loving it. There's the eruption. Bye bye, Fluttermane. Fluttermane, get on out of here. Shen Pal's gonna sash up. Yeah, but we're doubling down to Shen Pal. Because we, we know these things. We know these things. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Match number two. Going to your boy. Come on, man. That's too easy. That's too easy, baby. Shadow Ball flying out here. Reuniclus picking up the dub. Torkoal Reuniclus just thriving out and tricking me in match number two. We're sitting one and one. Let's go hop into a third. Look for that winning record for you guys. Final match coming at you guys. One and one. Going up against another first turn priority squad with Entei, Shen Pao, and Dragonite. But the only difference here is now they have a Pokemon that changes terrain. They have Willow. So Rillaboom going to be a huge problem for us, a huge threat. Indeedee is going to be something that we want to set on the field and eventually take back off, right? So we could go Reuniclus and we could go Indeedee here, but I think a better Trick Room option for us would be a Fake Out user such as Iron Hands. So I could go Iron Hands, go Reuniclus to set the Trick Room this time, and then go Indeedee as a back-end Pokemon just so we can bring out second terrain later. And last but not least, either Torkoal or King Gambit. And in this instance, I'm kind of leaning towards Torkoal, right? They got Shen Pao, we could be super effective on. They got Rillaboom, we could be super effective on. We have the ground move to take out Entei. It's just looking lovely, right? Or I can go with the King Gambit. King Gambit's gonna be super effective onto the Shen Pao with Iron Head, but it'll also do some big time damage for first turn priority late in the game with its other moves. But to be honest, Torkoal just seems a bit better. He's a turtle on fire. We love it. Let's do it. One and one. One and one. We'd love to grab a 2-1 record, but seriously, thank you guys so much for everybody who's been tuning into my regulation app content. If you guys made it this far and you're not subscribed, do me a favor, help my channel grow. Click that subscribe button. Love making content for you guys, and I do this every single day. Every single day. I have a, I have a job, come home, I do this, I have other activities, but this is something I just enjoy doing with you guys. So again, if you guys want to show some support, it takes two seconds just to subscribe and like today's video. But let's see who they end up going into. They end up going into Entei and Lando. Okay, so Entei and Lando comes out here. Kind of annoying. We have to fake out one of them. We have to fake out one of them. And obviously, the one that we're going to fake out is going to be Lando. Because you, over here, Entei, got inner focus. So, Lando, we're just going to do that. Terrasalize is really not going to do anything. We're going to pop a trick room. We're going to pop a trick room. We are going to pop a trick room. That kind of sounds funny. I don't know. Going to pop a trick room. Yeah, we're gonna pop a trick room. That's how we're gonna say it for now on. We're gonna pop a trick room. We're just gonna say it quick, alright? But fake out, popping out here. A little bit of flinch action going on. So flinchy flinch, sacred fire going into that slot, which we love because you can actually soak. No burns allowed. Thank you, no burns allowed. So we pop off the trick room. And now from here, Drain Punch could be our friend. Just get some HP back and. It also just expanding force you. Um, I could terrestrialize Iron Hands, but the only problem is if they decide to go back into another Sacred Fire, that could be a little. Actually, oh, you have Water Terror. Yeah, we're gonna terrestrialize you then. Just dodge some ground move damage. So from here, I'm gonna do that, and I'm just going to deal some damage onto this Lando here. I kind of want to bring out the terrain right now, but again, I'm almost positive they have Rollboom in the back end. So I really don't want to deal with that, right? I really don't want to deal with that. I get that I'm pulling out this water terra with the hopes that Robum is in the back end but i feel like if we can get rid of some of these pokemon up front now our back end pokemon can really finish off the battle the expanded force is going to come through here no terrain just stab damage going to chunk it up but not pick up the ko which kind of sucks man game punch also going to fly we get some hp back for that so what i think they're doing is doubling down on iron hands i really do think they're going to go sans here storm in sacred fire yes and that's exactly going to do some big time terror for us Substitute. You have no HP to do that. That actually works out perfectly for us. That actually works out perfectly. And now from here, honestly, we might just want to swap into Indeedee. And then pop this expanding force. 
And I think it's going to be a play because that should be able to finish off this Entei here. And at the same time, we can reset our fake out. And then we can always bring back back in in DD or back in Iron Hands to just swap. So right now, I want to get that terrain out here and just pick up a double kill with Reuniclus. I love it. Good thing they were going for sub that turn. What, they think we were not attacking that? Of course we're going to attack you. Get on out of here with that. Actually, last turn would have been a big time turn for us to swap. But now I'm going to swap it. I feel like now's a great turn as well. And we're going to bring in the terrain. Right now and about. Maybe he goes for an E-Speed here too. That could be cool. That could definitely be cool. There's my Psychic Seas. I get that special defense boost. And next turn, I think we're just going to swap and DD back out. Right? Might be our best bet. And he ends up just protecting Lando. So Lando gets to protect here. And Expanded Force is going to fly. So this should still KO Entei. I know Entei's a little beefier. But this damage should be a good chunk, right? Oh, wow. Hurts the soul, sacred fire flying. So you were sacred fire in a slot regardless. Are you choice? You might be choice. You might be choice, but at the same time, it feels kind of weird. So they could swap into. They could swap in the Rollboom here. See how many turns are left in Trick Room now? Two turns left in Trick Room. They could swap in the Rollboom here. I could double Trick Room just to reset it, and I kind of want to do something like that. I kind of do want to do something like that. I kind of want to fully reset this trick room right now. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to fully reset this trick room. I'm going to go trick room and trick room again. I'm going to fully reset the trick room, reading that they're swapping. Yeah. Yes, sir. So they're going to swap here. As long as indeed he soaks up the shots. It could get rough here could get rough. Let's see what he's doing. Let's see what Lando's doing, because I want to fully reset the trick room. Oh, he double withdraws. This is a huge play for Jeans. This is a huge play for me. This is a huge play, because we fully get rid of the terrain. Shen Pao comes out here. But we don't get rid of the terrain. We fully reset trick room. We take no damage on top of that. And now I swap in DD, right? Yes, we're swapping in. We're gonna go, gonna go into Iron Hands here. I could go into Torkoal. Torkoal's not a bad, no, Torkoal's not a bad call. But I'm gonna go into Iron Hands here, just so we can get fake out. We can reset the terrain. So we double Trick Room. Um, I think we should Focus Blast. What are we just expanding for? I think we should try to go for Focus Blast here. Seventy. I'm cool with the RNG here. If we miss, we miss. But that was a good play for us there. That was a great play for us to double down with the trick room. I knew he was going to withdraw one of them, but two of them? I'll take it. We got two Pokemon on low HP. We're getting our terrain back just so we can use it later. Um, probably going for Sucker Punch. I probably should have realized he was going for Sucker Punch because now Reuniclus is probably dead. That's a tough turn for us. Yeah, I should have realized that. Yeah, I, I should have realized that, but it's all good. Oh, we actually survived. We love it. Are you Grass Gliding? No, we're laying our Focus Blast, which is massive. But get off this Focus Blast, which is huge. We sash you up. And let's see what Rollboom's going for. A wood hammer. A hammer that's full of wood. Okay, I don't like that. But at least I get Indeedee. So I can bring back out Indeedee if I want to. And that's probably our best bet, right? That is probably our best bet, just to bring back out Indeedee. And save our Torx. The Reuniclus surviving is massive. It really is big. So now if we bring out Indeedee here. We get the terrain back. We still have plenty of turns left in Trick Room because we reset it on our own by do hitting, hitting the ye old double Trick Room, right? Double Trick Room is a huge problem. And then we just go Dazzle and Gleam to pick up the KOs. They can't outspeed us and we just expand the force of the slot. Yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I like this play. Cool. So they end up withdrawing Roll Boom. They're going to sacrifice one of their Pokemon to bring back out to me. They're going to protect the Shenpowski. And we get rid of you. And then he brings back out, you know. Okay, so this is actually a great match. This is just a solid match up here. Expanded Force. Gonna get rid of you. Um. And from here. 
Brain Wars is in full effect right now. Brain Wars is in full effect. So we gotta see how many turns are left in Trickle, because we still have Torkoal, who's just phenomenal. They're gonna bring out Robo. So they want the terrain back. Um Okay, I understand. I understand. And from here, follow me is a good play. And then we do, do we just Shadow Ball you? Let's see how many turns left in Trick Room. We have two. We have two turns left in Trick Room. I could double Trick Room again, but that's not going to be the play. We're going to have to go into you. We're going to have to go into you. This is such a solid match. Such a solid match up here. Such a good match, yo. We're playing so good. So is our opponent. I feel like today's video, every, like... Us and our opponent play great in all three battles. Win or, win or lose, you know? So, we're popping the Shadow Ball just to get rid of that thing. We go for the Follow Me. Now, the only thing that can kind of stop us is the Fake Out. But they end up just withdrawing, okay? They end up just withdrawing, so they're going to sacrifice you. You're going to die out here. Follow Me comes out here. And, actually, they... Uh, no, they could have faked this out if they wanted to. We end up just going for a Shadow Ball here. We finish off you. <clears throat> and from here, Woodhammer's going to finish this off. So now they bring back out Shen Pao. And chances are Shen Pao just protects, right? Correct? Right, Shen Pao protects. They still have Terra, don't they? It's where things get a little weird. It's where things get a little freaky, right? It's where things get a little weird. The one turn left in Trick Room. They got Terrain. They can Sucker Punch. They can go for Grassy Glide. Do they protect the Shen Pao? I would think so. Do I erupt? I feel like, yeah, we have to erupt here. And we just try to KO this room. Actually, I mean, we could go into here. But, like, you die if you don't protect. So, we might as well double down on you. We could Terrastalize the room. They still have Terror, don't they? I believe they do. I don't even remember them using it. But Grass Guy's gonna fly here. He's gonna take out Reuniclus. And they're probably going for Sucker Punch here. And I think this still picks up the double KO. Yeah, Sucker Punch coming out here. How much damage is this doing? Yeah, we still pick up the double KO and we win this. Cool. Yeah, what a match. What a match. What a match. Round of applause for opponents. Round of applause. Seriously, solid match coming out from them. We played so good. We were swapping back and forth, going for the uh, terrain control, and we ended up just taking up that victory. So, guys, we ended up going 2-1 for today's video, losing the first match to a very good opponent. And honestly, I'm still a little upset that the double protect land. I would have loved to grab ourselves a perfect record, but still, rocking out with Reuniclus in today's video. Love this Pokemon so much, considering not a lot of people are using it on the rank ladder. So it's a fun off-meta Pokemon that we did so well with up in the high master tier. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.